the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development identifies full and effective participation of women in governance and decision making as a key goal, taking cognizance of the capacity. However, the gender parity barometer is still poor and a far cry from the earnings of women in sub Saharan Africa, a reality that the ECOWAS Parliament acknowledges and seeks to address at the 2024 first ordinary session by building necessary solidarity. This is the first attendance at the ECOWAS Parliament since becoming Nigeria's first TD. But for Senator Ulrem Tinubu, the subject matter of gender parity is not a new battle. Addressing participants, the first lady says functional girl child education and improved quota in favor of women are required to dismantle social, cultural, and structural barriers standing in the way of women participation in the sub region. Additionally, raising awareness about the importance of women's representation in governance is crucial. Public campaigns, media engagements, and community programs can help shift societal attitudes. Government must put in place robust mechanisms to ensure compliance with gender quotas. This includes legal frameworks and monitoring systems that hold political parties accountable. We must recognize that achieving gender parity is not solely the responsibility of women. It demands the wavering support of men. Away from the session, the First Lady could not resist the urge to pay a brief visit to her old office at the newly renovated Red Chamber of the National Assembly.